Hey guys, what's going on? It's Miss Tahina with Miss Tahino's Lego Robotics. Today's video, I want to steer it towards those of you that might just be getting started in robotics with either the EV3, the Spike Prime, or the Inventor Kits, and you're trying to figure out, hey, if I'm a teacher, if I'm just starting off, if I just bought this kit for my son or daughter, what types of missions can I have my son or daughter or my students do just to get them going, just to see how their skills might develop, and just to get them off on the right track. So if you want to see that, stay with me. Tino Lego Robotics. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys, so like with anything, whether it's baseball, karate, or robotics, we want to get them started off on the right track. We want to get them started with some basic missions or tasks that help them develop their skills. So today's video, what I want to do is just get you started with some basic skills and once they can master these, then wow, the sky is the limit and we can just watch them take off. So today, whether you have any of those kits, Spike Prime, EV3, or Inventor, what we can do is just have them see if they can complete some of these tasks just so they can get an idea of their forwards and backwards and just using different motors to accomplish different tasks. So let's go to the table. Okay, one of the first tasks that I like to let students who are just getting used to the EV3 do as their first task is around the cup. And, you know, this would be obviously after they master forwards and backwards and turning. But the goal here is to get their robot to go from this starting point around the cup and back to the same location. Not necessarily in the same exact location, but, you know, it's going to end up over here. So let's check that out. And what that's going to do is allow the students to master how long distances are. So they're going to have to figure out how far forward. They're going to have to uh, master turning and how long it takes to make like a 90 degree turn. And then they're just going to have to master, okay, um, you know, whatever that turn was, that's, that turn is going to be the same exact one. And then just making it back to, you know, the same location that we started from. So to get them started off, we can do something like having them push something like this rim here into an area like that blue rectangle there. So that way they can just become familiar with, you know, a forward and distance and how much time that would be. So let's check this out. And, you know, they can always do a backwards to get into that same spot. So they're just learning, you know, distances and how far, uh, you know, something is like this area here, and they can start to learn to add time. Another beginning project that I have my students doing is having them put a wiffle ball into a cup. And you can obviously modify the cup how you want. Sometimes the cup can actually be too big. So in this case here, I just modified the cup and made it a little smaller for the robot to be able to drop the ball in. Another beginning mission would be to have the robot retrieve something like this uh, rim here and bring it back to where they started from. So they're utilizing this medium motor and let's check that out. So they're able to not only think about the forward but thinking about you know, distance, and then being able to know how to use this medium motor to pick that up and then bring it back to where they started from. Okay, for this next one, I call this the elevated pickup, where there's an item that's elevated for the robot to have to pick up and then bring back to this exact spot. So let's check that out. So it just reinforces and strengthens the student's ability to be able to adjust to this new height, to be able to know that, you know, they have to make sure their attachment's not too low and just able to, again, master their forwards and backwards 
and to be able to utilize this medium motor to pick things up. And when the students get really good, you can have them try to utilize their ultrasonic sensor to do a self-parking robot project. Check this out. Okay guys, so hopefully those were helpful missions for your son or daughter or your students to be able to accomplish. And what's gonna be amazing is how fast they can accomplish these tasks and move on to something else. But it's a nice platform to just see where they are and just have them take off from there. It's just an amazing thing. So what you wanna do is just be able to observe and go, wow, that's an amazing thing to be able to see where they started from and where they end up. It's just really cool in robotics to be able to see just the maturity of what they did on day one and then day 30, day, you know, Whoever, however long they spend in robotics, it's just amazing how they can multiply their skills in such a short amount of time. So again, whatever you know, kit you guys are using, it doesn't really matter. It's just one of those things where you can see the development and their skills evolve and then definitely their confidence in being able to say, you know what, robotics sounded hard, but once I got to it, you know, like a lot of things kids do, they're just sponges and they soak up the knowledge. So hopefully today was helpful. Okay, guys, I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey, guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay, guys, take care.